it amazes me the amount of UFO and alien channels and the amount of views they get from people that are just dying, dying for aliens to land and come save us. And a lot of them are absolutely completely full of nonsensical hoaxes. That's the best way I can put it. But some of these guys are really, really hardcore. They're definitely down with it. That's, you know, that's all there is to it. They've seen sightings. They've got video sent to them. They follow this stuff religiously. They love it. They can't wait for the aliens to show up and fix everything because all the technology we've got is from, obviously, aliens, right? All the technology that the military has, all the stuff that shows up in the middle of the night, all the things that people have caught on video over the years, it's obviously from happy, friendly aliens, right? And the amount of views they get is staggering. They never get censored. They never get copyright. They never get screwed with. Their channels are doing just fine. Why is that? Did you ever think about that? Why is that? How come the rest of us are getting smashed, smoked, taken down, copyright struck, limited, not allowed to live stream anymore, and just every other thing under the sun? And yet these channels proliferate and just keep going and going and going, reaching millions of subscribers at a whack. You know what I mean? And it amazes me because all they are is a flash of light or something like that. And they're like, look at that. And they get thousands of thumbs up, millions of subscribers, and it's always just a flash of light. And then they always go back to some guy that used to go work for the military, and then they'll show a picture like this. Look at that guy. He's obviously an alien. Look at that. Because certainly that doesn't look like a disembodied person whatsoever with no facial features, the kind of a humanoid face and dark, soulless eyes. Do you know what these are? Do you know what that is? You know what I mean? It's the same as it's always been. And I can't understand how these people are researching and spending all this time on this and they can't come to the same conclusion because it's quite obvious. I'll tell you one place that knows the Vatican, for instance, look at the size of this statue, this sculpture behind them. That's Jesus, obviously. See him, he's bursting out of the ground where he would come from, where the Bible tells us he will come from. He's obviously bursting out of the ground with all of his minions or angels coming out as well, like they were loosed upon the earth, correct? Because that's in the Vatican, but, or stuff like this. Or things like that. Or that. Let me tell you something. Back in the day, back in the Roman and pre-Roman Egyptian and before that days, why is it we can't make sculptures like this? And look at them. They're exactly lifelike, right down to the toes and the bones and the feet. I mean, this is amazing. Do you know why it's so amazing? Because they were inspired by otherworldly, other dimensional beings. Because there ain't no way you're going to make something like that. Look at this. And every single one of them has an evil, satanic, satanic demonic overtone to them. Every one. And don't forget the serpent. Look at this. That's a sculpture. It looks exactly like a guy. I mean, it looks exactly, exactly lifelike. Because these things have been on this earth longer than we have and it's amazing every single solitary country every single ancient civilization every single one of them recorded this stuff and it's for a reason yeah look at that friendly little dragon right there i mean look at the work that goes into this this is a lost art because we are devolving rapidly people that think aliens and dudes flying around in little lighted things are some highly evolved version of humanity. It's nothing more than demons, fallen angels using technology because for some reason they need to use nuts and bolts to go from point A to dimension B. And that's all there is to it. And if anybody that was this serious, anybody that had a half a million or more subscribers, even someone with 250,000 subscribers, You'd think they'd put enough research into it to come to the conclusion and finally say to the subscribers, yeah, yeah, I was totally wrong. These are the same thing they've always been. I mean, Crowley's the first one to draw a picture of Lam, remember? And gee, look at that. What did he look like? 
Oh my. And he went to another dimension and contacted it. Shocker. Absolutely shocking. He did a satanic series of rituals and bumped into this happy little fella. Well, who does he look like? B-I-N-G-O. And Demon was his name O. I had to do that, sorry. It's just totally ridiculous that they keep pushing this. And nobody in this whole UFO genre seems to notice that they don't get messed with like we do. There's a reason. As long as you're pushing the mainstream narrative or as long as you're pushing bad information, you are allowed to flourish. You are allowed to advertise. You are allowed to carry on, soldier, because it's the same as it ever was. I mean, really? This was drawn a couple of days or weeks, I think, before the Internet. Now, that was sarcasm for some of you that didn't catch that. You see what I'm saying? What does that look like? It looks like a creepy, soulless being. What does that look like? Well, it looks like a creepy, soulless being. So maybe those that are following my channel and then also following UFO channels, you may want to wake up because this has been going on for time immemorial. And the funny thing is, is our generation, if not us, our children are going to run into these things for real. Stuff like this was commonplace back in the day. Chimeras, half man, half animal, half bird, half beast, half whatever. It turns out that as the longer life goes on, the more you find out fairy tales actually are true. And so aren't myths. This stuff all is coming back around again. There is nothing new under the sun. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be again when the Son of Man returns. You see what I'm saying? And all you got to do is look to the science headlines. They actually use the same words, chimeras. Where do you think they learned how to manipulate DNA? Do you think if I was an angel standing next to God as he was creating everything, I probably wouldn't have figured out the recipe on how to whip up mankind or how to make a creepy half fish, half chick lady thing, mermaid, whatever, or a fairy? You know what I mean? There's a reason for it. And I'll tell you what, it ain't little green men that are coming here to help us. There is only one way out of this, and it is not in a spaceship. Richie from Boston, like, share, subscribe, or go thumbs down, complain, and go back to your secure place. Richie from Boston, I'm out.